What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Not another episode. I mean, just welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, and yes, it's me, your badass host, Draven, here with another new walkthrough. Well, not so new because, you know, I've already completed this thing twice already, and I know you guys are getting sick and tired of it, but hey, you know what? My channel, my rules, I want to do them perfectly. So here we are in Pokemon Emerald, and here he, here we have the, the professor right here. He's like, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call Pokemon. That, that, that little thing right there, Pokemon. This is, uh, this world is inhabited, or widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times friendly playmates and at times cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That is what I do. And you are? Um, well, it's pretty simple. Am I a boy or am I a girl? Boy, girl, boy, girl. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this whole thing where you know one day I feel like a guy and one girl one day I feel like a girl. I'm a man. I'm a manly man. So here we go. Let's go with the boy right now. All right. What is your name? And you guys already know what my name is. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. It is Draven. And yes, it's gonna be all in caps because you know what? I do what I want right here, all in caps. And that's probably what I, you know, I learned to do until Pokemon Platinum. I don't know, black and white. I don't know. That's when they went to like lowercase uh, letters and stuff. I don't know. So it's Draven. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. You're Draven, who's moving to my uh, hometown, Little Root. I get it now. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's do this. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come to my, come see me in my lab. All righty, okay. So here we are in the back of a truck. Of course, there's no space in the front because our mom hates us that much. We're moving from Johto all the way here to Hoenn, and uh, would you look at that. The door finally opens. I can breathe now, right? God! <sighs> okay, let's see what this is. Oh, the box is printed with a Pokemon logo. It's a Pokemon brand moving and delivering service. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I just want to stay in here. I feel a little comfortable. We're... Okay, whatever. Whatever, let's go. So here we are, guys, in Little Root Town, and here's our mama. And she's like, Draven, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding, uh, riding with our things in a moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It's quite quaint here. Uh, it has a quaint feel, but it seems to be easy, uh, easy place to live, don't you think? And you get, and you get your own room, Draven. Let's go inside. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Let's see what we got in here. Whoa, there's Vigoroth. Look at that. There's a Vigoroth right there, Mama. Where is the Machops? Or the Ma Champs, or the Ma Chokes. Where the, okay, no, you know what? Screw it. Mom, see, see, Draven. Isn't it nice here too? The Movers Pokemon all uh, do all the work, uh, all the work of moving us in the cleaning uh, and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Draven, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our uh, our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, let's see, let's see. Well. First off, where is your room, Mama? Where? I guess it's the kitchen. I don't know, but let's see what this guy says. He's like, Hwiga! And this guy's going left and right right here. He's just like spazzing out. Hooga, hooga, hooga! Okay, all right, cool. So here we go, going up into our room right here. And as you can see, look at that. We have a big old rug. We got a TV. Nintendo Cube, GameCube. That's been a while. And, uh, you know, our very own bed right here. So I'm going to take a snooze. I'll see you guys in the next episode, right? Nah, I'm just playing. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? Draven flipped open the notebook. Adventure rule number one, open the menu with start. Adventure number uh, rule number two, record your progress with save. The remaining pages are blank. Let's see. Oh, look at that, it works. So here we go, Draven. Look at that, our training card. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. 
Look at that badass. That's right. Two minutes into this, and we're already kicking some ass. And uh, this is our PC right here. What would you like to do? There's an item. Yes, there is an item. Let's go ahead and take that because we might need it in the long run. And uh, GameCube. It's a Nintendo GameCube, a Game Boy Advance. It's connected to the server. There's a controller. That's cool. That's cool. Look at that. And Mom, I like this program. Better get going. And, uh, well, there's one more thing we need to do. Just set the clock. And we better start setting it. So, um, let's see. Right now, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. Yes, guys, I'm actually doing this at 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, why am I doing this at this time? <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I'm, I'm an early bird. I'm, I, I, I couldn't wait to do my Pokemon uh, Emerald walkthrough. So, I'm just going to switch it up right here. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to confirm that. No, wait. I'm going to confirm that right here. And after confirming it, Mama comes up and she's like... Draven, how do you like your new room? Good! Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should take uh you should make sure that you everything's everything's all there on your desk. I kinda did. I almost did. I I I, I kinda did, okay, never mind. And right when you go down, Mama's all like, oh Draven, Draven! Quick! And, uh, look! It's, it's Petalburg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on! Interviewer. We brought you this, uh, report from the front, uh, in front, from the, in the front of the Petalburg Jim. Of course, the bad reading is gonna continue right here in Pokemon Emerald. Never mind. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad! Oh, yes! One of Dad's friends lives in, th in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, let's do that. Let's go right ahead and introduce ourselves to Professor Birch and everything else right here. So, here we are in Little Root Town, beginning of everything. You know, we could go up here, we could go down there, I don't know. But if you talk to this little girl, it's like, um, um, um. if you go outside and go into the grass, wild Pokemon will jump out. Okay, I guess. Um, whatever. And then you talk to this fat boy right here, and he's like, if you use the PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. I guess. Okay, that's good. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying, and then he'll suddenly go out in the wild and do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? Never. That's why he's almost getting a divorce. You know, divorce is no joke, guys. And this is his Pokemon lab, so let's go right in and see if we can find him in there. And as you can see, the lab just looks like Professor Oaks, and well, I'll talk to this guy. He's like, huh, Professor Birch? The professor's away on fieldwork, ergo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain that fieldwork is. It is a study of things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains. Instead of the laboratory, the professor isn't one doing uh, for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. Okay, alright, cool, look at that. Look, He's got a nice setup right here. I don't know if he gives us a Pokedex or anything, but he's got a nice setup with his doodads and uh, doohickeys and bebas and all that stuff. So, let's see. Little Root Town, a town that, can, uh, that can't be shaded away in hue. Okay, so now we're going right here in Professor's... Uh, his house and his wife just noticed us. She's like, "Oh, and hello, and you are? Oh, you're Draven, our new next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's go look our best for uh, this uh, daughter of hers. And uh, huh, there's a Pokeball right there." Should I or should I not? To do it or not to do it? That is the question. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Now, if you touch that Pokeball, May comes in. She's like, huh, who, who are you? Oh, you're Draven. So you, your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I have the, this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. Uh, I heard about you, Draven, from uh, my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Draven, that we could be friends. Oh, this is really, this is silly, isn't it? I, I just met you, Draven. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Draven, I'll catch you later. Okay. Wait, aren't you supposed to go outside and capture Pokemon? Um, okay. It's May's Pokeball. Better leave it right there. Where it... I want that Pokeball. 
Why? Okay, the mystery of that Pokeball. We're gonna have to, we're gonna find out. We will find out which you are, or what's in there. I don't know. Let's go ahead and talk to May. See what's up. Pokemon fully restored. I'm ready and nothing. I guess I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there for her. And uh, okay, I guess that's it. I don't know. Uh, what sh what else should we do? Um, I already talked to Fat Boy right here now. I guess the only other place to go to is right here, but look at this. This little girl right here, she's like, um, hi, there's a scary Pokemon outside. I can hear the, their cries. I want to go and see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go and see what's, uh, what's happening for me? No. No, I will not do it. Yeah, I'm going to be a hero anyways. And as you can see, help me! There's Professor Birch, and he is just running like hell. Look at that. He's being chased by a zigzagoon right there. He's like, hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Mm, I think you got this, bro. I'll catch you later. And before anything, he's like, where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. He's like, what were you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be a dick like that. You can't go anywhere. So, it is time to go and uh, help him, I guess. And he's like, where are you going? Don't leave me like this. I can't go into the grass. Huh. So, I guess we're going to have to go into right here to the to the bag right here. So, go into the bag, and you'll find three Pokemon. You got Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico. So, here is the exciting part for you guys. I'm going to leave this episode for a full week right here on my channel, guys. And down below, I need you to comment on which Pokemon do you want me to start with. Do you want me to start with a Torchic? Do you want me to start with Mudkip? Or do you want me to start with Trico? The decision is yours right here, guys. So, after this episode, I will be back within the week. Let's see. What day is it today? Technically, I'm recording on a Saturday, I guess. Sunday? Sunday? Saturday? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, I'm going to post this up right here. I will be back... Yeah, I will be back on February 6th with my answer. So you guys got until February 6th to choose my starter Pokemon right here. So I will see you guys in the next episode with my very first Pokemon and, you know, the end result of this whole ordeal right here for Professor Birch. You know, let's see if I actually save him. So pick my Pokemon, guys. Comment down below. Like it and everything. I'll see you guys next time.